Hey guys, what's going on? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Brittany Nicole, and today we are in a very different setup. I'm in very casual clothes, and we are keeping it makeup free with the exception of a little brow gel and some chapstick because I want this video to be focused on how I occupy my time at home. So I realize a lot could have changed in your life over the past few days, the past few weeks, the past few months, whenever you're watching this, but for me, not much has changed. I work from home in my nine to five. I've been doing that for about eight years now. And while I am a very social person, I don't put myself in social situations too often. The most social situation I'm usually in is going to dinner. I like to cook a lot of meals from home though, so that's not all too often. I do do a lot of FaceTiming with my friends and I do do a lot of talking on the phone. I'm just a homebody. I like to spend a lot of time with my dog and my cats and at home, I've been that way since I was a little girl. So I've developed some tips and tricks over the year to occupy my time that I thought I'd share with you today. Now this is a makeup beauty channel, so most of these tips and tricks are makeup and beauty related. But if you guys wanted to see other tips on how I occupy my time because obviously I don't eat, sleep, breathe makeup and beauty, let me know down below. But for the sake of today's video, I thought we'd keep it beauty related. Now I also realize that my lifestyle can be a lot different from you. I'm 31 years old. I have my parents to look after. I have my cats and my dog to look after, but I'm not married. I don't have a house. I don't have to occupy my children's time. So just take some of these things with a grain of salt. I have some options on here that could take you five, 10 minutes, and then I have some options on here that could take you three hours. So in no way am I saying this is the only thing you should be focusing on during this time. This is just some tips and tricks that you can kind of incorporate into your routine if you need to occupy some time and you wanna focus on your health and your beauty. So with all that said, if that sounds like something you're interested in, go ahead and keep watching. So the first thing I have for you is to practice your makeup skills. If you have been influenced by YouTube and you've bought a bunch of products that you haven't touched or you have a bunch of brushes that you don't know how to use, get in front of natural light and just have fun and play with makeup. Focus on practicing a halo eye or focus on practicing no makeup makeup. I have a ton of videos on my channel that I try to keep as educational based as possible so you guys can learn from what you're watching. There's a ton of other makeup artists here on YouTube as well. Lisa Eldridge, check her out. Her videos are so inspiring and they're educational and I just love her to death. You will get so much out of watching those videos as well. So utilize YouTube, utilize your makeup stash. I think we all get into a routine of makeup and that's just like our go-to. Like for me, it's natural makeup. So it's fun to kind of explore different looks, especially if you're not going anywhere, right? So if it doesn't go as planned, Stanley is drinking water right now and he kind of scratches at the thing. You're going to hear some noises in this video because again, we're keeping it casual. But if you're not going anywhere throughout the day, it is a better time than ever than to explore new techniques. And who knows, you might fall in love with a new makeup style. So get into your makeup stash and practice your makeup. So on the polar opposite spectrum of that, declutter and organize your makeup. I actually have a video coming out where you guys are kind of helping me declutter my makeup. I'm grabbing old makeup that I haven't used for a while and seeing if I actually like it in that video. So definitely make sure to subscribe and be on the lookout for that if you wanna see you know, some decluttering. Those are always fun to watch, but I highly, highly recommend getting in your makeup stash and getting rid of old makeup. Smell that makeup, girl. If it smells bad, it is bad. If it's been open for years, it's probably bad. A lot of that stuff can cause issues with your skin if you're putting old products onto your skin and you can break out and your pores can get clogged. So go through that makeup and get it organized. I try to do this every couple of months. I don't have a huge makeup storage area, so my makeup starts to pile up pretty quick. So I try to, you know, rotate the old stuff out. I love organizing my makeup. It makes me feel so accomplished and achieved. Same thing goes with my closet. You can kind of take this into other aspects. You could do it in your closet, get rid of old clothes, donate old clothes, and then the same thing with your kitchen. I try to do this stuff a couple times every year, so I overall maintain organization because I don't have a huge place, but 
you know, start with your makeup, move it onto your closet, move it onto your bathroom maybe, your kitchen, etc., etc. Now is a better time than ever to get organized inside the home. All right, next up, and this is a fun one. I've tried to do some of these things and I'm trying to kind of extend them out so I don't do it all in one day, but have an at-home spa day. Do a hair mask, do a face mask, exfoliate, shave, tan, do a steam shower if you can. You can even, you know, turn on your shower really hot and then just let it kind of steam up in your bathroom. I don't have an actual steam shower, but that's what I do. And then I'll just sit in there for a while, take some deep breaths in there, really work on those lungs, especially during this time. But now's a better time than ever to treat yourself at home. I have a couple things in front of me that I wanted to share with you that can work for this. One of my favorite face masks is the Ordinary AHA 30%, BHA 2% peeling solution. You can order this online at Sephora, I think at Ulta now. I know the Ordinary and Sephora and probably Ulta now have closed their store. So utilize online ordering for this type of thing or just use whatever mask you have in your collection. Do not feel like you need to go and buy things, but I did want to share this is absolutely one of my favorites. I also love the Indian, I think that's what it's called, clay mask. I'll put a picture of it up here and I'll link it down below for you guys. You can get that at Whole Foods. So if you're going in for your shopping, if you can quickly grab that, that is one of my absolute favorite clay masks. It really, really deep cleans the pores. It's a little bit painful because it gets so tight, but that with some apple cider vinegar, ugh, one of my favorite combos. So whatever you can grab. Now don't go like moseying around your Whole Foods or anything like that. Just grab and go as quick as possible. We don't wanna be lingering during this time, but do a face mask. It makes you feel like a million bucks. Next thing, self tan. I have a couple that I absolutely love. Bondi Sands, you can get in your local Walgreens. So again, if you're going for your necessities and you see this, something to pick up. I really like this formula. This is the self tan foam one hour express. And again, if you are placing an order on like Ulta, absolutely love loving tan two hour express. So two really good options if you're gonna be ordering or if you're gonna be in store, but also use what you have at home. If you've got a self tanner at home, go ahead and do it again. Self tan makes me feel a lot better on the outside and beauty definitely starts on the inside, which we'll get into in a minute. But doing things like this that, yes, are external, and I mean, I guess you can almost categorize it as like veiny, but they just make me feel better. And when I'm feeling anxious and kind of worried, doing things that make me feel overall better altogether just makes me feel better mentally. Another thing I have at home that makes me feel better is tinting my eyebrows. I use the Godefroy hair color capsules in dark brown. I'll link all this stuff down below. I have these and I'll be using them because I definitely need a tint, but a lot of people use the Just For Men stuff, which you can get at your local grocery store probably or CVS or Walgreens. Again, if you're going in there for the necessities, don't make extra trips or you can order it online. That's a very good option but doing something like that also makes me feel better shaving the face i have videos on all this stuff as well i have tanning videos i have how i shave my face videos i have how i tint my eyebrow videos so definitely look through my channel for stuff like that but shaving the face makes my face feel like a million bucks i did just do the peeling solution so it feels very soft right now but you can also use those tinkle razors if you check out my video you'll know what i'm talking about but to touch up your eyebrows at home be very careful, but start to think about taking the things you pay other people to do and interact with other people in the house. I'm sure you can do it, and in the long run, you might enjoy doing it better yourself, and you'll save lots and lots of dollars that way. So this one can kind of go in the at-home spa category, but I'm giving it its own category. Give yourself an at-home manicure or pedicure or get yourself some press on nails. You guys know how much I love the Dashing Diva Magic Press. I know it sounds goofy talking about like press on nails. Like when I grew up in the 90s, that's what we did at our like little sleepovers. We'd do some press on nails. We'd have like Frito nails. They looked horrible, but the press on nail industry has come so far it's amazing they look so real and they're so easy to apply with the dashing diva magic press you literally press it onto the nail and it stays for like two weeks and i am hard on my nails okay like i am washing my hands all the time a little bit of a germaphobe a little bit of an organization freak so i'm always cleaning so if these can stay on my nails for two weeks 
I'm sure they will stay on yours. There's other brands as well. Impress, I think Kiss has some. So press on nails are really nice if you wanna get the whole like salon effect at home. I would not recommend going out and getting a manicure and pedicure right now. I am very, very hesitant to say that because I'm very nervous for those businesses. I really, really hope government funding comes in and can help businesses like that who rely on people coming in and getting a service for them to be able to survive. So I'm very, very hopeful there will be some help there. But until then, stay home, do your manicures, pedicures at home. You will feel like a million bucks. Check out YouTube for videos on how to do them. I don't have any, but I have seen a million videos out there on how to do that. And if you don't wanna do the at-home manicure, pedicure, do press-ons. They even have press-on toenail things right now at the store, which is crazy. So check those out if you really, really wanna get the whole like salon effect at home. So I already did this one a couple days ago and let me tell you, it made me feel like an accomplished woman, like I achieved all my goals. I went to sleep with a smile on my face. I deep cleaned all of my makeup brushes. That is one thing that I think each and every one of us can do a little bit more. I do it about once a month. I should do it more. It's just such a process. I have to like gear myself up for it because I have so many makeup brushes. I do spot clean my brushes after every single use with the Cinema Secrets brush cleaner. This is my absolute favorite. I think this works better than anything. It takes like 15 seconds to wash your brush and you're good to go. It dries right away. It is alcohol based though, so keep that in mind. Yes, it can kind of dry out your brushes if you overuse it, but do not overuse it. You only need the smallest bit. So I do this after every single use and that's how I kind of get by through the month. And then I deep clean once a month. My absolute favorite brush cleaner comes from Sigma. I love the foam and I love the liquid and I love their little pad, which saves my little already wrinkly sausage fingers from getting more wrinkly. Let me tell you, it takes me an hour and a half to clean all of my brushes. It is just such a process because I have so many and I wanna truly clean them. So my hands are underwater for a long time during that process. So this stuff really helps and the mat is really, really nice. This is antimicrobial, which is awesome. And it just makes the cleaning process a lot easier. I do have a video on how I clean my brushes. I now use the Sigmagic. This wasn't out at that time, I made that video, but I do kind of follow the same process as that video if you're interested in, but literally just turn on your water, wet your brush, turn off your water, scrub, scrub, scrub with either the foam or the liquid and you are good to go. I lay them out to dry on the edge of my kitchen, like island type of thing. So any water kind of falls down and I'll kind of turn them throughout the day after I clean them. So one side kind of gets dry, the other side gets dry. But this stuff is awesome. I do have a code with Sigma. It's just Brittany Nicole. It gets you 10% off. I'll list that down below. But what better time to clean your brushes than when you're at home? Like I said, I think we can all do that a little more often and it's something that often gets pushed to the wayside because you just don't think about it. But it's so important, again, for your face, for your skin, and your makeup will apply so much nicer when your brushes are clean. So definitely take some time and do that. I'm sure it's not gonna take you an hour and a half unless you're like me and you have way too many brushes. It'll be a lot easier, but this stuff is really good. You could also use baby shampoo or dish soap even if you wanted to. For the antimicrobial aspect of cleaning your brushes, you definitely wanna make sure you're getting any bacteria out of those that, you know, transferred from your face onto your brushes throughout the month. So, clean your brushes. <laughs> All right, finally, I have a couple of inner beauty health things that will make you feel a little bit better. I've been doing this for the last week and I can see a significant difference in my like mental state and a little bit of my physical state as well. So I have been taking my vitamins. Grab those vitamins that have been stuck in your cabinet. Make sure they're not expired because they do expire and start taking them. I've been taking D3, vitamin C, my multivitamin. Consult your doctor before you take anything. But just taking those things that I would take on and off on a regular basis over the last week has made me feel so much better mentally. It makes a huge difference. 
getting outside, take a walk with your dog if you have a dog. If you don't have a dog, take a couple of walks around the block, take in the fresh air while you can alone. It makes you feel a lot better. That's one of the main reasons I ended up getting George a couple years ago. Like I said, I've been working from home a long time and I felt like I just wasn't leaving my house and I needed to. So having George who has to go out every four or so hours makes a big difference for me. I get fresh air, sit outside, soak in the sun while you can. That'll really make your mental state a little bit better and cook your meals at home if you can I mean I do it a lot in general but I've really eliminated going out for takeout or going to a restaurant and I feel so much better I feel lighter my stomach feels better it's just making me feel so much better mentally what you put in your body makes such a big effect on your mental state and of course your physical state so eat healthy, eat your vegetables. If you're stuck at home, you don't wanna feel a very like blah, you know? You wanna feel good and light and just awake and not like you wanna fall asleep. So cook your meals at home if you can, go get your groceries, get the fresh veggies if you can. I mean, do what works for you, but I've been trying to incorporate a lot more veggies into my diet and I feel a difference. Take advantage of the things like HelloFresh. There are so many YouTubers who have codes with HelloFresh to get you money off, so what better time to take advantage of that than now? There's other things, there's like Home Chef, there's one for vegetarians that I've been wanting to try. I can't think of the name of it, but check those things out, cook from home, put good things in your body, and it will make such a difference on your mental and physical state. I'm sure a lot of you already know this, but just a quick reminder. And then of course, drink as much water as you possibly can. I feel like a lot of people get into a routine of drinking a lot of water at work, but they don't when they're at home. At least a lot of my friends have said that. So drink lots and lots of water. That is so good for you. You know, drink some lemon water in the morning, hot lemon water to kind of get things moving. That's such a good thing. I don't want to get too much into like the health aspect, but in general, drinking water is so, so good for your body and will make you feel really good throughout the day. And then on top of that, do a puzzle. Do things that are mentally stimulating for you. I know we can kind of sit down and get involved in like a Netflix series and just go ham on that and get on the computer, but stay mentally stimulated and that's gonna make you feel better as well. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you were looking for some things to kind of occupy your time, let's open up the dialogue down below and share with each other what we are doing to stay you know, mentally stimulated and keep busy during this time. I would love to hear what you guys are doing and I'm sure you guys can kind of bounce ideas off each other. So thanks so much for watching. If you're interested in seeing any other videos from me, please subscribe, it means the absolute world to me. Also give me a follow on Instagram. We can kind of chat live there as well on my story. You guys can let me know what you're doing to keep busy on there and then you will see so many videos of my cats and dog George if you're interested in that kind of thing on my Instagram stories. I do keep my Instagram feed makeup related though so check out the feed for any kind of you know new videos and, and new pictures of makeup I'm doing and all that good stuff. So be well, take care of yourself, take care of the people around you, check on neighbors, check on the elderly, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.